Hi everyone, um, today we are going to do a stick bomb tutorial. It is one of our most famous experiments here at Young Scientist and we are going to show you a step by step instruction of the stick bomb. As you see, I have arranged the sticks from 1 to 9 and I have numbered it so that all the odd number sticks are red in color and all the even number sticks are blue in color so that it's easy for us to understand. So the first step in our stick bomb, we're going to take stick number 1 and stick number 2. This is the most important step in the stick bomb because if you don't get the first step right, you're going to have a, a lot of trouble getting on with the stick bomb. So we're going to take the first two sticks and what we're going to do is, we're going to try and form an A. So let's take the first stick and I'm going to arrange it in this position in such a way as you see, you can see that both of my fingers are at the tips of the stick. And make sure that you arrange or position the stick in the way I have shown you. Then overlap the second stick to form an, a cross shape over it. As so. Remember that this is not the correct way. You must position in the way that I have showed you before. That is. Your stick should be pointing or the top end of your stick should be pointing at the 11 o'clock or 10 o'clock. Now take the third stick and this is where the trick is. We are going to form an A, a skinny looking A maybe you could say. So take the third stick and look at the uh, take the third stick and place it over the previous number. So if it's the third stick, so place it over the second number and underneath the previous odd number and you can see that we formed a skinny looking A adjust the stick so that you have a skinny looking A as so now spacing, spacing is very important because you will need it when you go on to build your stick bomb. Now comes the second step. You take the fourth stick and if you remember our odd even rule, you will remember that fourth stick should be parallel to the second stick. And in our overlapping rule, you would know that fourth stick should be over the previous numbered stick which is stick number 3. So we place it parallel to the second stick and over the previous stick which is the third stick. And then you push it in just like in the overlap, overlapping rule underneath the previous odd number. So you see, fourth stick is parallel to the second stick, over the third stick and underneath the previous odd number, which is the first stick. Now we take the fifth stick and again using the odd even rule and the overlapping rule, we are going to do the same thing. Odd even rule, you will have to place it parallel to the previous odd number and it should be over the previous number which is 4th stick and underneath the 2nd stick. Now we take the 6th stick and again go ahead and do the same thing that we have been asking you to do. 6th stick obviously according to your overlapping rule and your odd even rule it should be parallel to stick number 4 and you are going to place it parallel to 4 and over the previous number before 6 which is stick number 5 and underneath stick number 3. And now all you have to do is continue onwards. You have to keep doing the same thing to build longer and longer sticks. So now that you are done with the stick bomb you would see that all the odd numbers are parallel. 
and all the even numbers are also parallel so you see all the blue colored numbers parallel and all the red color numbers in parallel so you go on adding more and more sticks to your stick bomb and make it longer so as you add more and more to your stick bomb the tension of your stick bomb increases you can see it as the stick bomb tries to you know raise up then to see your stick bomb go we are going to let go of your stick bomb do you see that it's raising up it's raising up because of the tension so the more sticks you have the more it raises and boom there's your stick bomb